The U.S. is the world's leading exporter of agricultural products, and the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative is responsible for providing trade policy leadership and negotiating expertise in several important areas. Joining us now to talk about these efforts is Chief Agricultural Negotiator Doug McCaleb. Ambassador McCaleb, thank you for joining us at CattleCon and uh, for this show. I'm curious, what are some of the efforts that USTR is undertaking currently to expand foreign access for U.S. beef? Yeah, thanks so much, Kevin. It's great to be here at CattleCon. Um, you know, we've had three record years in a row of agricultural exports um, and record farm income and ranch income around the country. We certainly appreciate that. We want to build on it. Uh, we've had tremendous success, for example, the Japanese market for beef recently expanded its uh, uh, tariff quota. Uh, we will be able to capitalize on that $2.3 billion market for U.S. beef products. Uh, beyond that, we've uh, opened up markets in uh, places like Ghana on the continent of Africa and uh, continue to push for uh, market access around the globe for beef products. As beef producers, we're pretty proud of the demand there is globally for U.S. grain-fed beef. I'm curious, what trends do you see in the future in terms of beef exports? Yeah, for example, in November, I was uh, in Johannesburg, South Africa there, and we were there to relaunch the AGOA effort, which is the major trade relationship that we have with more than 30 countries on the continent of Africa. Well, I was down there, I was taken to a, um, a, a local uh, a beef distribution uh, site, and they have a U.S. identity beef uh, sales happening in Johannesburg, South Africa. Tremendously popular. Uh, we were able to tour it and see that uh, consumers there are very interested in what we have to offer. And again, we just need to push around the globe to get those opportunities realized. Yes, and we appreciate all the efforts you can make in that area. So tell us this, what are some of the key priorities in terms of agricultural trade? Yeah, while we've had record exports and record farm income, uh, we also have to be mindful of the inputs that farmers have to pay for and the ranchers have to do to keep their operations uh, uh, moving. Uh, so for example, this year we were able to change the duty on fertilizer uh, coming from Morocco. Uh, it had been at 20%, uh, it's now in single digits. So every little bit like that makes a difference for a rancher, for a row crop farmer, uh, because again, their bottom line, it's nice to make good sales and we're out there uh, opening up markets, but we also need to make sure that their input costs are under control and that we're uh, managing that policy in a two-way uh, uh, manner. Thank you very much for coming to the show and for all you do on behalf of us farmers and ranchers. Thank you, Kevin. Great to be here.